Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Donna and Ray's Fashion Review, where we review fashions. <laughs> so we are going to review some fashions of the Oscars, the 94th Oscars, which was definitely um, a uh, interesting Oscars. But we're just going to talk about the fashion. So that is our focus. So again, I'm Donna Sheely. I'm just someone who loves celebrity fashion and celebrity award shows and all that great stuff. And then we have our fashionista, Ray Mack. Ray, tell them who you are. Um, I'm Ray, Ray Mack, and um, I'm a girl that enjoys style. I love looking at people. I love how they put clothes together. Just walking down the street, I feel like every woman, when she wakes up in the morning, she's feeling herself. And when she goes outside, she's presenting that pride and love. So I love fashion in that sense. I love the way, I love to see how people put clothes together. So, um, and I love accessories. Ray Drops Jewels. Yes, plug. Plug, the, <laughs> plug those Ray Drops, <laughs> Drops Jewels on instagram you better do that <laughs> oh yes make sure that you follow her on instagram at ray drop drops jewels right and then i'm d sheely nothing special going on, <laughs> on instagram Sheely, yay all right so Good we're going to <laughs> we're going to go over our picks there was lots of fashion to uh explore and to look at during this year's Oscars, but we picked out a few. And so um, Ray has put together some things. So we're going to go and check them out. Let's start off with the hosts. We got to start off. This is the first time they've ever had three hosts and we had three female hosts. So I thought that was pretty cool. So we're going to start off with Miss Wanda Sykes. Ray, what did you think? So um, uh, Wanda, now she had on a Sergio Hudson tuxedo. And I have to say, she looks nice. Yeah, you know, it's did. well tailored. It really was. Mm -hmm. I mean, and that white is so white, I'd be afraid to wear it. God bless her. I'm telling you, know, and I was a little nervous when she was on, because I know she has on makeup. And I'm like, oh my gosh, how does she not have any brown, anything on the collar, anything like on the, it, I, how'd she do it? Because I'm telling how you. How did she do it? I would have touched my face and touched my arm and you would have saw like brown prints so, oh. I'm like what is on me that? too me too so but she looks really nice and she you know does. just radiant it looks really white looks really good on her too it does and i love her hair i yeah. love her hair it's so the curl everything is great and we have to shout out that she went to our alma mater she's also a hamptonian hamptonian uh, representing hampton university love that so and yeah what else she what else is she representing she's also representing my sorority alpha kappa alpha sorority incorporated <laughs> yay a lot of people don't know that about wanda but she <laughs> is <laughs> so yes she is an aka so but she looks fantastic i thought she looked great you know it was you could tell she was comfortable that's her style and right she was able to you know do her thing with that on so bravo to her so yes, let's move on to Regina Hall. Now this was her red carpet look. You know, she had a lot of outfit changes. And so talk to us about this. So she has on Vera Wang. Ooh, nice. Um, I'm on the fence. Okay. Because I love the dress. Maybe I just don't love the color on her. Hmm. And she's such a vibrant woman and she's so funny. You know, maybe a different color. Ah. to pick up the details i'm not sure okay i can you know, see that but i like but it she, yeah i mean i would absolutely wear it oh yeah but you know it, if it was just like maybe i don't know and it might have been beautiful in per you know in person mm -hmm. i mean she mm -hmm. looks pretty she does i mean you know it takes a lot for her not to look pretty exactly she looks great. I thought, you know what, when I saw it on the red carpet, I thought those were palazzo, those are pants. But now I see that it's just drapey like a dress. Yeah, like and the drape is gorgeous. It is, and the way it yeah. flows. And mm -hmm. I, I think it looks good because it, it matches her skin tone. And then 
I like the way she paired it with the shoes. I don't know so much about the clutch, but that's a whole nother thing. <laughs> I was like, is she holding a Bible? No, let me stop. <laughs> I'm gonna do something different with that. <laughs> but she looks good. So yay, Regina, for one of your outfits. All right, let's go on to Amy Schumer. Yes. So Amy, you know what? I did not get what designer she had on. Okay. Um, I'm not a fan. No. I guess it, I it's like the you. bow. That bow yeah. thing is kind of killing me. Is it killing? But <laughs> I, I do like she looks good. Like she's, you know, I know she's recently went uh public about um having lipo after mm -hmm. her baby and mm -hmm. you know just normalizing you know hey i don't like what's happening and i'm gonna change it you know right um so i think her body looks great I the cut see. of the dress and everything it looks really nice her cleavage is everything i know i like it my mom didn't yeah. like it she was like that's too much <laughs> I said, mom, I like it. And I personally, like, I like the bow, you know, it, even though she has the full cleavage thing going on, I feel like the bow made it um, a little bit more delicate. I don't know how, why, but I just feel that way. I, I don't know, I like that it was navy. I just liked everything about it. I thought it was appropriate for her, for her size and for her shape. I just thought it was a really good, good choice. So um, it was cute to me, so. Okay. Hey. Yes, I'm trying to see if I can see the name of the. Is it Oscar I'm, I'm de la doing Rente? the same thing. It was an Oscar. That's Oscar de la Rente. So, okay. Uh, yes. Yeah. I it, it is. I will say it is extremely flattering on her because mm -hmm. I'm. That's not an easy dress to pull off. Right. So you know, there you go. Yeah. There you go. I love it. So yay, Amy. Do your thing. All right, Zendaya. You have to say her name like that. Zendaya. <laughs> okay, she is so like model thin. Oh my goodness. She that's why they yeah. love her because she can wear anything. She can anything. wear anything, anything, but she also is very aware of her what looks good on her. And, mm -hmm. and so on the carpet, she has on uh, Valentino. Okay. And I did not get the suit, uh, the designer of the suit. So, okay. um, and that's the after party, Vanity Fair after party, mm -hmm. which I thought that suit really was so cool. Like, she's just so cool to me. Like, no matter yeah. what she has on. Yeah. It's her just, her vibe is so cool. So. Yeah. yeah. I am living for this silver skirt with this drape in the back, like. This skirt, listen, I will wear that. I oh, would. Absolutely. I don't know if I look like Zendaya in it, but I will wear that skirt. Now I don't know if I could pull off the little top at the top. Now I don't know if I could do that because all the rolls that would be in between that and the skirt. <laughs> no, <laughs> well, situation. I wouldn't wear that top. If I just be, I do a classic white blouse. I mean, she reminds me yes. of like a car. She's giving me Carolina Herrera inspiration mm -hmm. because Carolina Herrera is known for the crispy white blouse with the extremely dressy skirt. Okay. And that skirt, I mean, look at the back. It's like oh. that. It's got like a little train situation. Yes. And then you sent me um, a close up and look yes. at her bracelets. Yes. Look yes at this that. amazing. That is beautiful. Yeah. I mean, all of you the know, detail in that. Yeah. Her and La Roach, <clears throat> who's her stylist, they just, mm -hmm the perfect um partnership oh mm -hmm. and then with zendaya in the suit i looked it up and mm -hmm. it is um sports max sport okay. max sport max yeah and it's very well tailored and it's just simple she did some she swooped her hair she just kept it you know like mm -hmm. drag film cool uh no not drag film drag masculine mm -hmm. cool cool yeah <laughs> i've never heard of that but okay <laughs> I just made it up. I don't even know if that exists. I oh, said okay. It all wrong. Okay. Like, okay. Know. She's giving me butch, butch realness. Yes. Dick Tracy. <laughs> realness. <laughs> realness. Okay. We're making up all the yeah. way. Okay. <laughs> all right. Thank you, Zendaya. Oh, my gosh. Oh, oh this yeah. is my favorite of the night. Okay. We're going to, we're not going to talk about all the other stuff that happened. We're just talking about the fashion, y'all. So what's interesting that so she's wearing John Paul Gaultier. Okay. But 
it's interesting because it's so much dress, but it is so well done because it is not eating her alive at all. It is not. She and, and you know she's you a know, tiny, tiny thing. She's like, so tiny. This dress is not swallowing her up. It is not overtaking her. Like she is wearing this dress. Now I saw the model who wore this on the runway or whatever, and they had it zipped all the way up. So it was like a turtleneck fit thing that they had. Oh, I like that she has it a little skin up here showing. Yeah, so that, that would have been a whole different thing had she zipped it all up. So that, that was a nice. smart choice. Wasn't it? Yeah. It looks just that one little thing. That one mm -hmm. little thing. Isn't that amazing? Thing. I mean, she looks gorgeous. Like, you know, I'm in her shoes, the green shoe. And that's a nice color green. That is a great color. I love green. Yeah. Well, well yeah, we you know we know you love green. And she should too. <laughs> because she's also an AKA. Oh, but really? you know, I'm sure that's she wasn't thinking that when she wore it. But she listen, she looks good in this. She really does. Like popping yeah. out. I love it. And I love what you yeah. said. It did not overtake her. I mean, she's no. just it was just classy to me. So classy. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. All right. Yes, Jada. That's my number one right there. All right. Who is this? So so <laughs> So that is um um Anna Taylor Joy. She okay. is the girl from uh Gambit. The case yes. Queen's Gambit. Queen's so, Gambit. Yes, and Jonelle Myers and I mm -hmm. we have a love affair with her. So I had to throw in there. She is um okay. this is her at the Vanity Fair after party. Okay. And she's wearing um oh, she's wearing Dior. Okay. Um, and, but she, and then she has like a nice little net, you know, I love a little something over my face. Yeah, she's got veil. a little, mm -hmm. got a little veil. Yeah. And, um, you know, yeah, it's see-through and basically she has an underwear and a, and a see-through skirt, but it actually looks classy and I like her. So I threw her in there. Okay. I'm not mad at it. I just was like, who is this? I'm not familiar. <laughs> I'm not. But when you said Queen's Game, I'm like, yes, yes, yes. I, I, do, I do know her. <laughs> Yes, it's giving me lingerie vibes. Um, Very much so. Yes, so it, you know, but she's wearing it, you know. Yeah. Everyone can't wear that, so. No, yes, but actually, I, 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 I think I'm going to, I'm going to, I think many people can wear that. You know why? The panty is a big panty. It is. Like a it's a high panty. rise. It's a full panty. I would feel comfortable wearing that in public. Yeah. The bottom part 14. I don't have. I think so much that the top part is for me, but that's maybe because of her size what I'm looking at. And then, but yeah, I, I believe a lot of people could put this yeah. off. Yeah, you're right. Well, very okay. nice. Well, you I know what you could do? The you could mm -hmm. wear it. Yeah. Yeah, you could, but you could also if put like a something underneath the top part so it's not mm -hmm. as see-through. Yes. Because that part, I would want to have a little extra. A little extra. Holding I in, need a little something, yeah. <laughs> just a tad, just a tad, just a smidge. <laughs> just a smidge. Oh, I love, I love, I love. This is another classy, classy thing. I love the classy glam that these ladies yeah. wore. So we know who this is, Beyonce. Beyonce. And Beyonce. And um, she's oh, yeah. she's wearing Valentino. Mm hmm. And the dress is amazing. So, um, and it it's it's very 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 French. Mm. You know, like it's it when you think of like quintessential uh, uh, couture Paris fashion, like in the fifties and stuff. Mm -hmm. That's what you. That's what I envision. And it's that that let me tell you something. That hourglass. Listen. What. <laughs> oh, 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 oh! I mean, <sighs> this was tailored to her body. I mean, she had it, and so it's taken in right in the right spots. It's gorgeous, and this cape. So I'm assuming it just goes around your arms, like it a, looks like it. Yeah, yeah. And then, and then the gloves, like all of it, is just so classy. I love it. I love it. Her hair, earrings, everything. 
yeah, and I, the the choice to keep the ear uh, the hair simple. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, you know, because that could have messed it up too. You have yeah, like yeah. a crazy hairstyle, right? Right. And I will say, Jay Z looks good. I mean, I don't know what he's wearing because I really wasn't thinking about him, unfortunately. Right. right. But um, you know, I'd love a white tuxedo jacket. Yeah, he's got um, a little brooch. Yeah, it looks like that's a Tiffany diamond, probably because <laughs> sponsoring a Tiffany. But oh, that's looks, right. And it's yellow, like her dress. So, you know, he's trying to accent, you know, get the little match. So I love, love it. it. Yeah, she great. was definitely a best dress. Oh, yeah. She looked fantastic. Fantastic. All right, Jessica. Yeah, so Jessica Chastain, she is wearing Gucci uh, um, on both carpets. Okay. Which is the Oscars and the Vanity Fair after party. Mm -hmm. um, which one's your favorite? Oh boy, I you know my mom really did not like her red carpet. Oscar, I I liked it. She didn't like all the. She said I don't like the colors. I don't like the frou frou at the bottom. To be honest, I kind of liked it because I felt like it matched her, her skin tone, and I love the copper at the top because she has copper hair. So I thought that was really cute. But I also like you know I like green. So um, you know, I, I don't know if I so much like the design of the green as much, but you know, they're both they're both not bad. <laughs> they're both not bad. I uh -huh. mean, at first I um uh, as when I saw her walking on the carpet with the, the lavender gown, it is actually much prettier photogra uh than photograph. Okay. Like okay. It, you know what I mean? It it films nicely. And I tell you what I like about that green. Mm -hmm. I just that's one of my favorite silhouettes. Snatch me in every day. Yeah. And you know, she's got that corseted top, which is looks like it's like silk. And then the rest of the gown, I mean not, I'm sorry, satin. And then the rest of the gown is almost like a it's a, not only a different fabric, but it's almost like a slightly different colored green. Mm-hmm. She looked really nice. I just thought, you know, let's throw her in the mix yeah. since she won an Oscar. Since she won an Oscar. Bless her heart. Yeah. We didn't really pay attention to her speech because of what happened prior to her winning. But we go on. <laughs> okay. So this is Ariana. Am I saying her name right? Ariana Du Bois? Sure. Sure. Let's say it that way. <laughs> so she has on Valentino. Um. I thought it was a cool look. It's interesting and it's different. Yes. She's got the cups similar to uh, Tracy Ellis Tracy Ross. Ross. Mm -hmm. Was it the same um, designer? Same designer? <clears throat> no, actually, you would think. No, Tracy wore a Cal Carolina Herrera. I was just okay. like, wait a minute. But the cups are so similar. Oh, they are. Mm -hmm. So I feel like somebody uh, saw somebody else's design and one of them said, Ooh, let's do this. Mm hmm but um I, it's a it's interesting you know it is. I don't know it is if she pulled it off her skin was glowing so it just looked really good on her um and again I, I felt like it fit her personality she was comfortable in it and I mean comfort is half of it right there so yeah she was able to wear it boldly um I do absolutely love her hair like her hair oh, is taking yeah. me back to like anita baker night <laughs> like yes. it's so tight that cut it almost made me think man i want to get my hair cut it looks so good her hair looks so good yeah. so and i was like she definitely i felt like she had an atlanta hairstylist that's how she did she had you know what i'm saying yeah, like she went to atlanta yeah she went to southwest side for that one because that <laughs> She, that, haircut sharp. That, that, haircut, <laughs> that haircut was sharp okay she was not playing somebody's had some good razors on that one okay so zoe 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 kravitz there she is yeah so she had a uh, saint laurent uh okay. she looks so i mean first of all i love zoe kravitz so much um Just and she looks so pretty she does looks like a little girl <laughs> She looks like a little girl right here to me. Like, like a little girl. I mean, she's giving us her Audrey, she says Audrey Hepburn, mm -hmm. Breakfast at Tiffany's look. Yes. And um, she just, I love her style also because she can do dress up very well, but mm -hmm. in a very cool and youthful way. Yeah. 
and yeah. Uh, so yeah yeah she looks great and you know super thin um but she's pulling it off like it doesn't look bad on you know what i'm saying that that dress doesn't look bad on her she's giving me like a debutante type of feel with that the cute little wispy bang so i thought it was a good look it was cute yeah all right venus come on come venus. on wonder woman so <clears throat> venus uh had on ellie saw mm -hmm. uh oh my god i can't even like where do i start her hair yeah. awesome oh, yeah you know the and i think jason bolden did this and oh, did he okay those look like Tiffany yeah, and he's been styling her lately. Okay. So, but like the the jewelry, how it's like yeah, that's what I'm saying. It, it matches like the dress, you know. Yes. It's Tiffany. It, it, it's it's all amazing. She yeah. looks so good. She looks fantastic. I listen. I was a little scared with the boobs. I was like, I know that's taped down. Okay. <laughs> because if she would look go like, huh? What'd you say? That's all it would have taken. <laughs> Just exactly. look like the other. But she held it all in there together. I thought it was great. Um, and she looks fantastic. Yay, yeah, she, she looked really good. I mean, I have to say, Venus has been, you know, for the past, uh, the red, <clears throat> the awards uh, season. Mm -hmm. She's been, uh, she been doing it. Standing in the forefront, I'm going to say. Okay. Venus. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. You ain't right. See, I don't, guys, I don't know the order of the pictures. I have not. So when they <laughs> pop up, it's my first time seeing them as they come up. So this one kind of, I was like, oh, yes. I didn't even know she was there, first of all. <laughs> well, she, she was at the Vanity Fair after party. So oh, that's okay. what this is. Okay. And she's wearing um, Tom Brown. Who usually okay. does like um David Levy, who wears shorts all the time on the red carpet yeah, and likes okay. these suits with shorts. Okay. That's who he usually wears. Okay. And I guess this is a take this is a take on men's wear fabric in an uh, evening gown. And okay. I don't okay. understand it. Okay. Um, it's a lot of fabric. Um <laughs> it's a lot of fabric. <laughs> it's a lot going on at the bottom. And then she's got the 80s, um, what do you call it? Uh, shoulder pads. I mean, Rosario, did we even say her name? Rosario. We did not say. Dawson. I, we're just assuming <laughs> you all know who she is. <laughs> Woo. Rosario. I like your ponytail. <laughs> I can say that. Look, her, that's just her, her face and her ponytail, they look great. Yeah. But I don't know what's happening with the rest of everything else. Like. Yeah. Maybe if it was a bustier <clears throat> and then that whole bottom thing, it might've been a different story. But right now I feel like I'm looking at um, a crafts project. Garden. That's what I was going to say. Yeah, or someone who fell into some scraps of fabric and was like, hey, look yes. what I came up with. <clears throat> I, yes. I'm seeing peaks of the shoes and I'm not happy about those either. Um, no, so no. <laughs> Oh, and I do want to say with Venus Williams, it was actually Lugs, uh, Raw Loach. I mean, uh, yeah, Law Roach, who did, uh, was her stylist. Okay. Venus Williams, yeah. Okay, it wasn't, jo okay. No, Jason does Serena. Oh, okay, got you. Mm hmm There you go. All right, so we did mention Tracy a little earlier when we were talking about Ariana's outfit. And I, tr listen, let me tell you something. Tracy normally is never misses with her fashion. This one though <laughs> was not it, honey. I'm so sorry. I can't. I, I do not like this on her at all. I don't like Did the. You cups. not like the cups? No, mm -mm. I'm not. I'm not loving Mickey Mouse ears. Cover up. <laughs> What's happening? I don't like it. And well, she usually is the bomb. I mean, she pulls off red so well, and it's still for me not very appealing on her. I don't like it. I understand. I mean, I can see that. I, I actually did like the dress. Okay. But only because 
it is a 50 silhouette, which is like one of my favorite genres and it mm -hmm. flatters her body so well. However, the cups could have been a little bit larger and I then we would so. not be having this conversation. Probably not. Yeah, right? I think it's it's totally the cups. I mean, everything yeah. else, I, I, I agree with you. I love those shoes. I love the necklace. Like she's giving me the glam. It's yeah. the cups. And I it's feel like cups. that's drawing my eye and it's taking away from her skin, her arms, everything else looks so great. It's just like, what? <laughs> yeah, it, 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 so I can see like if like, yeah. So I understand. Yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> we agree. <laughs> Oh, Anjanou, Ellis. Yes. So she has on Versace. Very nice. And mm -hmm. she, let's talk about how this color and her skin mm -hmm. are like the perfect marriage. Yes. First off, like, Beautiful. good God, she's like glowing and, mm -hmm. you know, she looks so good. It's, it's, you know, I love a cinch waist. I love a little cleave and mm -hmm. she's giving me all of that. Her hair is fantastic. Yeah. She's given a shoulder like she's it's nice. It is nice. Yeah. Um, the color. I, I always love a good burnt orange. Like that's just a great color on brown copper skin. It just looks so good. So she's giving it. She's doing it and her hair, everything. And she's had some yeah. misses in times past. So I was yes. happy to see. Recent <laughs> times past. I know. And I'm like, what is going on? But she she came. She got it together for the Oscars. And so yes, she did. She yes, she really did. Proud of her. I'm so proud of her, too. She's so great. She's so great. All right. And um, who is so, this again? Um, Mila Kunis. Okay. Me, okay. And I threw her in. She's wearing Zuhar um, Marad. Mm -hmm. Zuhair Marad, excuse me. And I just threw it in simply because the draping was the so draping. amazing. So beautiful. And, and it fit her so nicely because she's a petite girl. Mm -hmm. She's kind of short. Mm -hmm. She looks really lovely. She really she's does. She's a grown woman now. Yes, she is. I love this dress. That, that I love the draping. Everything you said about it. And I like this color, this type of pink. Uh, what do you call this? Um, like a rose it's beautiful yeah it is beautiful yeah. mm -hmm. and it looked really nice on her looks very glamorous mm -hmm. good all right helen oh, no not helen mirren um this is judy dench judy dench yes so she's wearing dolce and gabbana mm -hmm. and unfortunately the picture i think with the white background yeah it's not given it, mm -hmm. yeah because it from when I remember, okay, I didn't watch the Oscars. I flipped back and forth because I was watching 90 Day Fiance. <laughs> so um, <laughs> I watched, but everyone you watched, Donna and her mother watched. They had a watch party. So yeah, I'm relying on Donna's what she saw on stage. Yes. It but has, when they showed her seated, it had like pearls, right? Yes, it has. Yes, it has the jewels and the pearls. And it's very nice. My mom made a point of saying she thought that was very classy. You know, it was age appropriate, nice dress for her. And my mom was like, I'd wear that. That is so nice. And it it really does look good. You cannot tell right here at all in person. I'm sure it was fabulous. But even when the light hit it in different angles on stage, it looked really, really nice. So yeah. And she's she's just an immaculate woman. That's why she's yeah. the dame. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> dame. All right. So okay. Anna. Yeah. So we have Venus. I mean, ooh, excuse me, Serena. Serena. Wearing Gucci. Mm -hmm. She's wearing Gucci. Okay. Um, okay. So, uh, first of all, you picked a perfect photo for this one. Okay. Because you really can see how terrible the gloves are. Yeah. <laughs> and now I can see how terrible those shoes are. I can still not really see the shoes all the way, but well, yeah. Well, because they're black, I feel like, you know, they're uh, just... It, it, the, I think just having the 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 black applique mm -hmm. on yeah. that dress was enough. Yeah. We don't need any more highlight of black. Mm -mm. She didn't like, need the and, gloves. She didn't need the gloves at all, actually. No. Like, yeah. what are they doing? They're mm -hmm. doing nothing. I don't know. So, you know, Jason Bolden, he did. Yeah. He styled this. So I don't know what conversation they had. I'm not sure. Yeah. Right. Maybe maybe she had an allergic reaction on her hands and she didn't want to show them. I'm not sure. Okay. You never know. 
-hmm. but and I love the dress the dress is pretty it is reminding me of like remember how like in mommy dearest and uh when mm -hmm. Joan Crawford she had on the dressing gown yeah it reminds me of that yeah you know it's um, very glamorous yeah uh, yeah but I just want to remove her hands from the picture and we'd have another because her hair looks great oh yeah yeah the, you know, the simple the earring taking away from the top part the gloves are and I know they were trying to add another probably a black accent but it was not necessary the dress itself was just carrying it all so she didn't yeah. need any of that so I agree yay Serena all right Lady Gaga speaking of Gucci <laughs> Yeah, so I gave you Lady Gaga. I gave you, I wanted to do a close up of her uh, red carpet mm -hmm. makeup. Yeah. The makeup is so gorgeous. Her it makeup is. is always really her good. She can pull it. I mean, my goodness. Yeah. yeah. She does a red look like nobody's business. Oh, and that little, goodness. now, is this a jumpsuit, Donna? Uh, you know what? That is a very good question. I was thinking it was a two piece. But it could possibly be a jumpsuit, whatever it is. It is I so love delicious. I really loved it. I was yeah. like, she looks so cute and comfortable. I was like, and yeah. and elegant at the at same all time. at the same time, just class and understated. Mm -hmm. You know, like Perfect. she's not nominated. Mm -mm. She's presenting, but she had a you know a great movie year. Yes, but she didn't want to detract from anyone else. But she mm -hmm. still wanted to stand out. Yeah, and I thought it was perfect. Me too. Of course, I didn't see it because I didn't watch yeah, it. Yeah, but she came out with Liza Minnelli. So, oh. You know, yeah, so Liza Minnelli. And that Minnelli, makes sense. Yes, Liza Minnelli yeah. came out and, you know, Liza Minnelli's in a wheelchair. I don't know what else is, what's going on with her. Um, but she looked great too. And she, you know, uh, they presented, they did that award together. So it was really cute. I thought okay. it was great. Okay, well, you know, Liza has had several injuries in her lifetime. So I guess yeah. she's, wow, that's sad. I didn't know that. Yeah. Well, yeah. that might be why she also wore the tuxedo because of Liza Minnelli. That that makes, oh, right. she's so it thoughtful. Fit. Because it yeah. was, yeah. So you know how Liza is. So yeah, it was perfect. I thought it was great. Nice. Oh yeah, really good. All right, Kristen Stewart. So she's wearing Chanel. Okay. I got nothing else. <laughs> <laughs> you say? I love her shoes. Those oh, shoes are dope. Um, um yeah. <laughs> Oscars? Mm-mm. I don't know. I mean, do you think, Mama, but uh that that's MTV Awards. Like you're giving me VH, VH, VH1 or whatever, the V, the, what do they call the VMAs? This Yeah, is, or she could have yeah. worn that to the movie premiere. So yes, I, I mean, and it would have been fine. Like, I just yeah. feel like the event that we're talking about, mm -mm. I mean, she's Yeah, I mean, and I didn't know hair. she has such great, she has, she does have great legs. I will say that, but. Her legs look good. Her legs look good. But, but yeah, I'm not even, I don't even like the way the suit fits her, so. Yeah, it's just not appealing in the shirt. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Doing Aerosmith, Steven Tyler. I'm not right now. All right, Tiffany Haddish. I love so, Miss Tiffany Haddish. You know, I am. Um, she's wearing Dolce and Gabbana as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. She looks so gorgeous on just like a beautiful little black mermaid. Mm hmm. She's so beautiful. I'm loving the blonde hair too. So green, yeah. green is the color tonight. Like a lot That's of green. Um, I love this. And even when she talked, I think she was talking to somebody from entertainment tonight. I saw a clip and they were like, oh, you have so many costume changes. She was like, this is not a costume, honey. <laughs> this is a gown, which okay. I paid for with my money. <laughs> oh my, do your thing. I mean, she looks fantastic. Yeah. She looks so fantastic. She, yeah. I mean, she snatched. The jewelry was kept very simple mm -hmm. and she just, she looks fabulous. She just yeah. looks amazing. I, I got nothing, you know, I can't. Yeah. Can we just <laughs> note that all Will Packer produced um, last night and all of the girls trip stars were there. So she oh, was that's there, right. Regina Hall hosted, Jada was there and Queen Latifah was there. I just wanted to say yes. that. But. <laughs> and and that, that was a great point. And I'm mad because I, had a 
picture of Queen Latifah mm -hmm. and I didn't download it and I should have. She looked great. And I, she yeah. She really did. She had on the yellow. That yellow. She it was a lot was, of yellow. It was a lot of yellow and green. Yeah. yeah. That was. And yellow was is not easy, but she looked great in that yellow. She did. She did. She looked great. All right. Speaking of kind of yellow, gold, Lapita, who was the meme of the night with her reaction yes. to everything going on. <laughs> um, she was she was me. I was her. Um, yes. So she, she had on Prada. Okay. Um, I don't know how. I, I think I will say this. I did see her walking. Okay. Like a video of her walking. And mm -hmm. also when she was in the audience, it looks better in those than this picture. Okay. Because there's some details at the top that you can't really see. Okay. Um, but, and then I'm just, you know, when she does her hair, mm -hmm. she makes her statements through her hair. And I always appreciate that. Yeah. You know, she always represents the diaspora mm -hmm. folks, her peoples yeah. yes. in her hair mm -hmm. every time. Yeah. And, and this this looks pretty on her skin. It does. I mean, she she could she can wear just about anything. Um I wasn't crazy. It's not like one of her best. She usually will give us more of a classic clean look. Um when I say clean, I mean like straight lines and stuff, but you know, it's different. And like you said, it probably in person looked fabulous. The camera's just not picking up the detail and, no. and it's just not photographing well, but I'm sure it looked amazing. But she's amazing. Speaking of amazing, <laughs> Megan the so, Stallion. Miss Megan the Stallion. So she had on Gaurav, Gaurav Gupta. Ooh. Um, and I, first of all, I love a person that knows what works on their body. Yeah. And this silhouette, like Megan does it many, 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 many times, and she should never stop. Mm -mm. It's pageant girl realness. Yeah. Drag pers personified, mm -hmm. and it looks good on her. It does. Like, damn. And she's that make, I mean, everything about everything from her yes. damn rings, her bracelet, her makeup, her nice hair. Bun in the back. Listen, the bun. I, I love it. it. Huh? I'm making a bun. Listen, I'm about to do, when I when we get off, I'm about to pull my hair back. I'm gonna put it in a bun because that she looks so good and this color. Yes. Oh my. I mean, God. I don't even know what color it is. It, it looks like it could be like a periwinkle or something. It's like a periwinkle, but it's dark a little dark. It's the blue. It, Listen, it looks luscious and rich. Yeah, and, and, and somebody needs to give her a skincare campaign. Her and it. And Kelly Rowland, because oh my gosh, the skin is just she is oiled from head to toe, glowing, yeah. gorgeous, gorgeous, understated, just just gorgeous. Until next time, is there something after this? Nope, that's it. Okay, yay! <laughs> so we ended with making that was great. I loved all of it. Oh my goodness, that was so good. Oh, thank you, Ray. I think this was a great recap, and I enjoyed. I enjoyed it. I always like looking at the fashion. So me too. Until next time, we will until next time <laughs> reconvene. <laughs> Thanks everybody for watching. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>